We've already determined nuking a hurricane is a really bad idea, but a number of you are not giving up on stopping hurricanes. I'm meteorologist Jason Myers, and I merely joked that maybe to stop a hurricane, we should toss some ice cubes into the ocean. Why don't we just drop a whole lot of ice cubes into the middle of a hurricane? But you went and one-upped me and suggested liquid nitrogen. But freezing out a hurricane has its own set of challenges. Hurricanes form, develop, and get their energy from the warmth of the ocean. So in theory, if we cool off the ocean waters, the hurricane would be cut off from its energy source and fall apart completely. In a hurricane, all the warm ingredients are at the bottom where the ocean is, and it's much cooler at the top of the storm. So any plan of flying a plane and spraying the tops of a hurricane with liquid nitrogen to cool it down won't do a thing. In fact, it could even make things worse by increasing convection with even colder air at the top of the hurricane. That means we need to cool off the ocean, the source of all that heat and energy, and it's going to take a lot of liquid nitrogen to do that. It takes roughly three tons of liquid nitrogen to instantly turn a solid 1,000 cubic foot block of water into ice. The eye of a hurricane is between 20 and 40 miles wide. Let's call it 30 miles for simplicity's sake. And we'll assume we're cooling off the top 10 feet of water. That's more than one and a half million cubic feet of water and allowing no room for error. That means we need more than 4,750 tons of liquid nitrogen in just the right spot to freeze the water in front of a hurricane's path. And it's all for naught if the hurricane takes a different course. Oops. Liquid nitrogen is just that. It's the liquid form of the nitrogen gas found in our atmosphere. And to turn it into a liquid, it has to be chilled to 320.44 degrees Fahrenheit below zero. So as soon as the liquid nitrogen hits that warm water, it'll immediately boil. It's just like boiling water immediately changes to snow in bitter cold air, only in reverse. Once the liquid nitrogen boils, all that nitrogen will displace any oxygen in the atmosphere, which means the person or people on this mission won't be able to breathe as soon as the water begins to freeze. If that's not enough, think of the sea life. You're already having a bad day because you're swimming in a hurricane, but now some dimwit up and freezes your home. So it seems we're back to square one. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any bright ideas for stopping hurricanes, subscribe to our YouTube channel and let me know in the comments.